that really helps to be the last person because they say most of the things. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I don't have to say that. I don't have to say that. <laughs> but uh, uh, to me, I think when we talk about systems of oppression, it really means, you know, to the young minds, everything needs to be destroyed. If anything is right, it comes with injustice. We have to feel guilty about it and we have to change it. So imagine when you're a young person in school, the amount of burden that you carry uh, when you feel that everything around you is wrong. Whereas when I grew up, I grew up in India, I'm an immigrant, I came to this country 20 years back. I was a very happy person around that age, right? I, I was <laughs> enthusiastic about growing up, about studying, about exploring the world. I would be curious about different um, races, different religions. I had a sense of optimism, but I don't see that in the young minds anymore. And a lot of it also has to do with them feeling so scared about, so hesitant about saying anything. Oh my God, since when have we become so apologetic? You know, you, don't, you just have to say potato, for example, and there'll be like many people will be offended by it, literally. That's how this country is right now. And, and because of that, like I have an 18 year old and a 16 year old and often they correct me, no, you cannot say that, no, you cannot say this. And I'm like, says who? <laughs>